Hey, what's up, guys? Um, back again with another video. <clears throat> it's been a stressful day, um, so I haven't really had time to put in the uh, the work that I really wanted to do. But <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking me about um, the sun setting on a flat Earth, and I kind of just want to quickly go over that. So I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. Um, number one. Let's take a look at the what they officially tell us. Okay, now they're telling us that the Earth goes around the sun like this. Okay, that that is completely wrong. It it doesn't do that at all. All right. Um. Let's quickly get to it. Okay. Now here you what you see is a skyline, right? And you see the sun below the horizon. But what's but what you need to pay attention to here is that the the sunlight is below the clouds, okay? Anytime it's below the clouds, that means that it is impossible for you to be on a ball. Like for this, for instance, it's, we can't be standing on a globe. the 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 sunlight is below the clouds. That means the sun is still above the the land, but it's just out of view, okay? So. Let's take some more more look at this. Like for instance, here you can't see the sun, but you can. T but it's still um, the light from the sun is still visible. Okay, so let's see what they mean now. This is something called the law of perspective, and the law of perspective is is when things appear to be intersecting the further they get away from you. Um. And it, it happens all the time. Like during this whole down this hallway here, you can see these two in two sides of the wall connecting. But you also see the ground and the ceiling connecting, which is interesting because you need to pay attention to that because what what it doesn't really intersect at the end. It just appears that way because I, the way our eyes function, they function just like a pyramid. Okay, and that's why. There's an eye at the top of the pyramid, the eye of Osiris, because the eye, it, 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 the further it gets away from you, the more it becomes like a pinpoint. Okay, so we can see here the ground and the sky touch, but then not in reality. That's just how it appears to us. All right, so just like the ceiling here, or let's see, the the ceiling here, the ceiling in the ground come closer the further it moves away from it. Okay. Alright, now this is a map of the flat earth. Okay. And the ancients always said that the earth was a disk. Okay. Uh, the ancient Egyptians, um, an early Egyptian in Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia thought the world was portrayed as a flat disk floating in the ocean. Okay, and you go all the way down to ancient India and in ancient China, blah, 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 blah. And they all said that the earth was flat. Now, suddenly in 2015, we think that the earth is a ball because of the moon landings in 1979, 72. Okay, not 1969, but 1972 was the first photo of earth. All right, so now let's get straight to it. Now, here we have... Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, this is a diagram I made, and I kind of made it. I didn't get the chance to really go in the way I wanted to, but this will work. Okay, so we're going to take a look here. Now, these are railroad tracks, and like I said earlier about the railroad tracks or anything, they don't actually uh, intersect. They just appear to. Okay, so these appear to become closer to each other, but in reality they don't because when you swing, when you swing around around sideways, you can see that they're even. It's on an even. They're both exactly even. You see that? Okay, but when you come to one side down here, okay, all right, it appears that. These two sides here, if you can see, let me get my pointer. It appears, let me get my, uh, let me draw a line here so you guys can see. It appears right here, these two are actually smaller. And then when I draw a line here, it appears that it's longer. But when you move to the side, they're equal. Okay? So, I mean, of course, that's a bad way to draw it, but you guys get the point. Okay? So, let's get rid of that. Now, 
Let's get rid of these two. Let's get rid of this here, just not to cause any confusion. Now, when we look at these trees, okay, now, I'm this guy's standing right here. He's about to go on Ruby Tuesdays, right? And, you know, he's right here, and he's standing next to the trees. This tree here, tree number one, we'll call this one. We'll call this one tree number two, and we'll call the one furthest away from us tree number three. Tree number one appears, let me say that again, appears to be taller and higher than P tree number two. And tree number two appears to be taller and higher than tree number three. But they're the same tree at the same height on the same plane. All right? So because the tree number three is further than tree number one, it gives the illusion that tree number three is actually going down. But it's not going down anywhere because the entire landscape is flat. Okay? And if we swing around to tree number three, right? And then let's move over here. Let's get a better view. Now, let's go into tree number three. Now, tree number one appears to be smaller than tree number three. And appears to be further down than both trees. Simply because it's further away. It's not going down. So, everyone who's been asking me about the sun setting, okay, I want to deal with that. The sun doesn't actually go down. It doesn't go down anywhere. It just goes further away from you. So let's deal with that. All right. Now here's sun number one. All right. And here's sun number two. Okay. All right. So now sun number one, sun number two, I drew a line between them to show you that they're on an equal plane. Okay. They're equal. Okay. And they're, par they're parallel to each other. But when you go down, let's find our friendly dude over here. Oh, that's a picture of me. Had to do a little cameo appearance. <laughs> anyway, um, we're down here, right? Let's get the dude. Where is he at? All right, now. Uh, laggy ass piece of shit. All right, now. All right, this will work. Now, we're right here. Sun number one appears to be higher than sun number two but they're not the line is actually pa parallel it's it's leveled so sun number one i mean sun number two is appears to be going down but it's not going down it's just going further away from you so the sun doesn't set it goes beyond where the ground and the sky meet from your line of perspective okay so when you're looking at this let's go right here it's, where's my buddy? Where's my buddy? There goes my buddy. All right. Now, sun number one appears to him, if he's standing here, from his perspective, sun number one would look like it's higher. It would look like it's coming up. It's not coming up. It's just closer. And sun number two would appear to be going down, but it's not going down. It's just going further away. Okay. This is the law of perspective we just looked at. Okay. So, this is also on a flat earth, right? Okay. And uh, this right here, they're in Brazil. Okay. And if you if you look at this little tower I made over here. All right. Let's zoom in. Okay. All right. Now, you're standing next to this building here. This building appears to be higher than this tower from your perspective, but it's actually not. The tower is actually higher than the building. But it's from where you're standing. So everyone thinks that the sun is going down. The sun isn't going down anywhere. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's go over to sun number two. Okay. And we're by sun number two. We're going to go down. We're going to be standing in the ocean. Okay. We're on a boat. Okay. Now. Now. Let's do this here. All right. Now. Sun number two appears to be higher than sun number one. It appears the sun number one is setting, but it's not. It's just further away from you. So depending on where you're standing will depend on how the sun looks, whether it's going down or not. Okay. So neither one of them, they're both on the same plane. Okay. So 
the sun never sets. For everybody who's asking me about the sun setting, it's impossible for the sun set on a, on a flat earth. It's not. It's actually an illusion. I, and I wouldn't even call it an illusion because it's pretty obvious. It's just we've been indoctrinated to think we live on a ball. Now, this is the moon. The moon is slightly higher than the sun, if you can see that. Okay. The sun, the, uh, how much time I have left? Okay. The sun is actually a little bit lower than the moon. The moon, the sun is about 3,000 miles up, 32 miles in diameter. Okay. And this obviously is a blown up map of the flat earth. This is the North Pole, which is directly at the center. Um, and the South, so called South Pole, which would be this ice wall, which is 150 feet tall. And um, we went over in the last video the uh, Antarctica Treaty, where nobody can really go there and find out what the hell's going on. Okay. So, and you can see Australia over here. So, this is the earth that you live on. Um, some say it's a thermal geo pocket, geothermal pocket. Um, some say the earth is infinite, that it goes on forever and ever. Like, I, I really don't know. Um, maybe in the next video I'll try to cover that topic. Right now, I kind of just want to deal with the sun. Okay, the sun setting on a flat earth. Uh, so... That's it. I mean, the whole, the whole, everything here is leveled. Uh, the sun is leveled with sun number one, sun number two. So the sun doesn't go down. It just appears that it does. So going back to this, uh, right here, um, you know, again, the sun's not going down anywhere. I mean, it's not going down. It's going further away from you, and it's going beyond your 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 line of sight where the ground and the sky meet. So it appears that it's going below something. It's not. It's just moving further away. And of course, it's 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 that's kind of why. In in the evening, the sky during the after lunchtime, the sky is bright blue, and then in the evening, the sky turns orange red. That's because the light is moving away from you. It's it's becoming dim. Okay. Um. I mean, they talk about red shifts. That's a perfect example right there. Uh. So. You know, I mean, here we go. You can clearly see the sun is barely visible, but yet the clouds are still illuminated. Uh, here we go. Right here, you can see that at the bottom of the clouds, if you can see that, is illuminated. That means that the sun isn't that far away. It's not that far away. Um, so, you know, I, I hope that... Uh, that really deals with this topic here. I mean, if we lived on a ball, it would be absolutely impossible, you know, for the sun to light up the clouds below the horizon if we live on a globe like they're telling us, and we don't. So I hope that covers everything. Um, my next video, I'll be covering the whole thing about just using your common sense and just using what you, your eyes and your ears. And um, trust your eyes. Trust your ears. I mean, if they tell you ele elephants can fly, I mean, you have to kind of just look at it and see see if it's true or not. You can't just believe everything you hear on TV, believe everything people tell you. So on that note, have a good night. Blessings, peace, hotep, um, whatever. Have a good one. Peace.